I've had dreams that weren't just dreams. Am I crazy? We don't use that word in here. Hi, my name is Abita from Gate Culture in Singapore. How are you, Neil? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for asking. Now I'm gonna start with saying the Matrix, such an iconic franchise. Um, what does it mean to you, and what does it mean now that you're in it? <laughs> I think the first Matrix really revolutionized the way an action movie, a giant sci-fi action movie, can be elevated mm -hmm. in a way that that honors the viewer and makes them feel appreciated and heard. I don't know of another type of movie that had done that before The Matrix had. So I think it's incredibly exciting to be a, a player within that game. 100%. Now I hear that you have a very interesting story about your first interaction with Lana. How did you get involved with Resurrections and could you share that little story you have about her? Oh, I don't know which one. I was uh, originally just sent an email asking if I would, if I wanted to get on a Zoom chat with a director, a female director who's currently working on a project. I said, well, that's very vague. I need <laughs> yeah. a little bit more specifics. And they said, it's Lana Wachowski. And I said, oh, wow, that's great. Because I was a fan of Sense8. Um, yeah. I thought that was really wonderfully executed. And to be such super queer content that was still so um, smart and accessible and fluid, I loved it. And so I had a lot of questions I wanted to ask her. So we chatted for a while, I think half an hour, 45 minutes. And it mm -hmm. went well. And she asked if I wanted to come to San Francisco and meet in person, talk about this part. Um, and I, of course, said yes. And then uh, <laughs> that was probably my red pill moment. And then uh, suddenly the mirror warped and I walked into a world I'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> That's I love that you had some references there. Now, about this character though, um, we don't want to spoil it for fans, obviously, but what can you share about your character? Like, who is he? What does he do? What does he want with Neo? Uh, I play Thomas Anderson's analyst, and Thomas is living a, in a world as a game designer where he is feeling that things might not be what they seem, that he's not sure who he is in the world. And any good analyst's job is to quell those concerns and make sure that Thomas was not asking too many questions unnecessarily and mm -hmm. was able to um, maintain the fairly successful and happy life that he was living. I love that. Do you want to be my analyst? <laughs> uh, you don't want me to be your analyst. <laughs> no, I feel like you've probably been asked this multiple times already, but I just have to know if given the option, would you take the red pill or the blue pill and why? It sort of de depends on what you mean by red pill, blue pill. Um, mm. If I was to be asked, would I want to acknowledge that the world is actually much more grim and horrible and needed saving or would <laughs> I rather happily live in ignorance that that's not the case I'd probably take the blue pill but if you are asking me whether I would rather seek out adventure and new experiences and ask for truth instead of a watered down reality mm -hmm. I would definitely take the red pill I love that. I love that answer. Thank you so much, Neil. This is all the time I have with you today. It's been such a pleasure. Likewise.